CPD is holding a press conference at 7 a.m. and we need to be there. Hey Caleb, I want live hits on the morning show. We need an in-memoriam full screen with Jen's picture. Simple, nothing sappy or over the top. We need to put out a statement on the web. And Frankie, we'll have you read it on air. Would it be alright if I wrote it? I'd like to write it. I think we should have a moment of silence for our colleague, friend. All right, Caleb, Madison, out the door, let's go. Caleb, Caleb, whatever comes out of this investigation, we need to stay on top of it, okay? Hey, it's our story. You don't need to tell me how to do my job, all right? Uh, this is, I, uh, <clears throat> I can't even, I'm sorry. We're all sorry. Listen, I, I, I need to write this if it's gonna make it to air. Okay. As an investigative journalist, she worked tirelessly to find the answers. And although many saw her as a hard-hitting reporter, the truth was, Jennifer was a softy with a big heart. She was protective of the victims in her stories, and she was very active in community service projects for the homeless. But above all that, she was a cherished member of the WNC9 family. Jennifer, you will be sorely missed. Hey, yeah. What are you doing? I just posted the web story about Jen. Oh, no, Lena, don't look at the comments. Jesus. People are kind of garbage. Seen here on surveillance footage from the gas station, the moment a man started waving a gun at Yeah, and what does that say about you, that you're willing to vote for a bigot? Where's the proof that he's a bigot? Come on, what about all that stuff he said about how the Malakaris that landed here were all worthless? That is just like your side. You twist what the truth! Side? The, he never said that the Malakaris who landed here were worthless. He said that they weren't yeah, yeah, scientists, yeah, yeah, yeah. which it, they weren't, David. They didn't bring any new weapons or valuable commodities to trade with us. They, he pointed out that they were a strong workforce. Yeah, and in the same sentence, he insinuated that all the Malakaris today are lazy.
Chief Disher. Anastasia Atwood. I'm a producer over at WNC9. We've met a couple times. I remember you. I was also good friends with Jennifer Ross. It's a shame about what happened to her. Um, I know these investigations can take a while. Uh, but there haven't been any arrests made, and your department hasn't even named a person of interest. Finding Miss Ross's killer is still a priority. Is it? I mean, I know she wrote some rather unflattering stories about the CPD. Bias stories. But we're not handling her case any differently than we would any other murder investigation. I can assure you of that. Why does it seem like you've forgotten about it then? Are you asking as a representative of WNC9? No. Uh, Is this for a story? I'm asking as Jen's friend. See, that's the problem. No matter where I am, whether or not I'm wearing the badge, I'm always representing the CPD. We're doing our job. Thank you. Thank you. Breaking now, the race for the President of the United States has come to an end. With 99% of polling locations reporting, the Affiliated Press has declared Vern Miter the winner. We are getting word that Senator Jefferson has called Miter and conceded the race. We go live now to MITRE Campaign Headquarters, where the President-elect is expected to speak any minute. Mom. Let her leave. I don't know why she's so worried. You don't get why she's worried? We taught you how to survive. You taught me how to hide because you're ashamed? I was never ashamed of you. Your mom, she's not like us. Us. Your mom's an optimist. Who needs more people like her? But people like your mom, they don't know how to handle the ugly stuff. They don't know what to do when someone like Vern Miter gets elected. But we both saw this coming, didn't we? I was never ashamed of you. I was ashamed of us, of everyone else in this world. Because we're not the world you deserve. So yes, I taught you to hide. Because I didn't want to see my little girl die in the street bleeding out. Mom, all I know how to do is hide. All I know how to do is survive. I don't know how to live. Everything feels like it's just happening to me and there's nothing I can do to change that. I feel like I'm just being tossed around and I don't know what to do about it. So maybe you can tell me because I don't know. I'm not sure. So you look at what happened with Virginia May. Terrible tragedy. You have this criminal, Naomi Eves, a Malakare who was hiding her face. And I'm just asking, a lot of people are asking, why is that okay? Why is it okay for Malakaris to hide who they are? What are they hiding? When you think about things that are hiding in the dark or under the bed, they're dangerous, right? So let me tell you something. Malakaris will no longer be allowed to hide. They're gonna have to come forward. They're gonna have to register. Registration. What about critics who would say that's unconstitutional? <laughs> that's pretty rich. A lot of my critics seem fine with ripping up the Constitution when we're talking about the First Amendment or the Second Amendment. They want to tear it up. You don't honestly think your critics want to tear well, up the Constitution? Let me tell you something, just so there's not any confusion. 
The Constitution that was written by our forefathers was for Americans, was for humans. It does not apply to Malakaris. You can't honestly say the Constitution doesn't apply to Malakaris. I promise big changes, big changes, and big changes are coming. For any Malakaris who are watching and listening, if you're hiding, come out of the shadows. Come out. If you haven't done anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. But hiding from now on is illegal. But how would you enforce that? You'll find out soon enough. Big changes are coming. Do you have a date when this registration will go into effect? Courts will stop him. He'll never get away with it. Yes, he will. Do you want to try telling us what happened? Anna, I just want to hear what she has to say. I mean, that's why we came here, right? Anyone else you want to trust? You went easy on them because their Malakari was like watching the morning show. Can I just do my job without everyone breathing down my neck? You don't think I have people breathing down my neck? I want you to do your job. Find the truth, no matter how ugly. You're so close. You have no idea how easy it is for you. How easy? I don't have it easy. I have to leave my convictions at the door just like everyone else. Hey, I don't like Midar either. But I can't let that impact how I do my job. Well, yeah, you can afford to leave your convictions at the door. No one's questioning whether or not you deserve to be here. I was born in America and I'm still not seen as American. Everything feels like it's just happening to me and there's hey. nothing I can do to change that. Get off of me! We're doing our job. I'm here to see that Mally girl you got working here. This is Anastasia Atwood from WNC9. I'm calling about an incident we had at the station, a gentleman who accosted some workers. Yeah, I just need a name. We've been getting some threatening emails and I just want to check and see if it's the same person. Got it. Yeah, thank you so much. Anna? Hey. It's good to see you. I see you every day. Outside of work. Yeah. Um, I'm just following a story. Can I, um, can I ask you something? We, uh, we had that night, you know, I thought, I thought dystasia was starting to be a thing. What happened? What happened? I... I, I can't do this right now. Um, just... I, I can't try to figure us out right now, and I, I can't figure myself out. Anna. Anna. 